you about something I read from the best book ever written is a great day. What book am I talking about? Yes, the Bible. The Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. In the Bible, I read about a very important man named Samuel. He had a very important job to do. One day, God told Samuel that he wanted him to help him find a new king. Wow, isn't that an important job? Finding the new king was super important. Do you think Samuel felt kind of scared? I do. I'm sure Samuel was afraid because what if he couldn't find a new king? But God told Samuel, I will show you what to do. And Samuel knew that God loved him. He trusted God to help him. God told Samuel, there is a man named Jesse who has a lot of sons. Go to his house to look for the new king. So Samuel went to Jesse's house, and when he got there, he asked to see Jesse's sons. Jesse didn't just have one son. Jesse didn't have just two sons. Jesse had eight sons. Phew, that's a lot. Can you count to eight with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sons. Samuel decided that he was going to look at all the sons to see which one would make the best king. Samuel thought he would knew which one should be the king by the way that they looked on the outside. He thought maybe the strongest son might be a good king. Can you show me your muscles? So maybe Samuel thought that the tallest son would be a good king. Can you sit up super straight and be really tall with me? Yes, we're so tall. Or maybe Samuel thought the smartest son would make a great king. Or maybe Samuel thought the most fun son would make a great king. Everyone would like a fun king. Let's do a little dance right where we are at. But do you know what God told Samuel? It did not matter how tall or strong or smart or fun the son was. God said, I don't look at the outside of a person. I look on the inside. I look to see if he loves me in his heart. Jesse brought seven of his sons out for Samuel to meet. Samuel met them and looked at them, but he knew that they were not the men that God wanted the king to be. And Samuel trusted God to help him make the right choice. Samuel asked to meet Jesse's other son. Remember, Jesse had eight sons, but Samuel had only seen seven of them. So Jesse called for his youngest son. His name was David. He was the youngest, and he was out in the field taking care of the sheep. <laughs> Samuel told Jesse to bring David to him. Hey, Jason, do you think you can help me out on this next part? David. Awesome. Okay, guys, this is my friend Jason, and he's going to pretend to be David, right? Yep. Awesome. As soon as Samuel saw David, God told him he's the one. 
God told Samuel that David would be the new king, even though he wasn't the strongest son, or the tallest son, or maybe even the smartest son. He was the one that God chose. How great is that? God helped Samuel find the new king. Samuel knew that he could trust God to help him, and he was right. Samuel told everyone that David was going to be the new king. Wow. Samuel trusted God, and you can trust God, and I can trust God. Who can trust God? That's right, Jason. Thanks for helping out. Bye, guys. Bye. And just like Samuel trusted God to help him when he had the really hard job of finding a new king, you can trust God will help you too. God loves you and wants to help you. Can you think of a time when you have felt really worried or scared? Raise your hand if you can think of a time. See, we all feel that way sometimes. Sometimes we are scared of a storm or sometimes we're worried about going to a new school. But no matter what is happening, we can trust God and ask Him for help. You can trust God, and I can trust God. Who can trust God? That's right, I can trust God. Let's pray and thank God that we can trust Him. Dear God, thank you so much for the times that we're scared to do something. We know that we can always trust you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we heard how Samuel trusted God to help him find the new king and that new king was David. Let's make a crown so you can wear and always remember that you can trust God. Mom and Dad, be sure to check out the website and app on how to make a crown. Until next time, bye friends! Yeah!